Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Have another Here journal for you. Leviticus chapter 19, Leviticus after the exodus of Egypt. The Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Leviticus, a chapter at a time, and doing a Here journal video on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Leviticus chapter 19 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Then I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 19 Holiness in Personal Conduct The Lord also said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the entire community of Israel. You must be holy because I, the Lord your God, am holy. Each of you must show great respect for your mother and father, and you must always observe my Sabbath days of rest. I am the Lord your God. Do not put your trust in idols or make metal images of gods for yourselves. I am the Lord your God. When you sacrifice a peace offering to the Lord, offer it properly so you will be accepted by God. The sacrifice must be eaten on the same day you offer it or on the next day. Whatever is left over until the third day must be completely burned up. If any of the sacrifice is eaten on the third day, it will be contaminated and I will not accept it. Anyone who eats it on the third day will be punished for defiling what is holy to the Lord and will be cut off from the community. When you harvest the crops of your land, do not harvest the grain along the edges of your fields, and do not pick up what the harvesters drop. It is the same with your grape crop. Do not strip every last bunch of grapes from the vines, and do not pick up the grapes that fall to the ground. Leave them for the poor and the foreigners living among you. I am the Lord your God. Do not steal. Do not deceive or cheat one another. Do not bring shame on the name of your God by using it to swear falsely. I am the Lord. Do not defraud or rob your neighbor. Do not make your hired workers wait until the next day to receive their pay. Do not insult the deaf or cause the blind to stumble. You must fear your God. I am the Lord. Do not twist justice in legal matters by favoring the poor or being partial to the rich and powerful. Always judge people fairly. Do not spread slanderous gossip among your people. Do not stand idly by when your neighbor's life is threatened. I am the Lord. Do not nurse hatred in your heart for any of your relatives. Confront people directly so you will not be held guilty for their sin. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against a fellow Israelite, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. You must obey all my decrees. Do not mate two different kinds of animals. Do not plant your field with two different kinds of seed. Do not wear clothing woven from two different kinds of thread. If a man has sex with a slave girl whose freedom has never been purchased, but who is committed to become another man's wife, he must pay full compensation to her master. But since she is not a free woman, neither the man nor the woman will be put to death. The man, however, must bring a ram as a guilt offering and present it to the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest will then purify him before the Lord with the ram of the guilt offering, and the man's sin will be forgiven. When you enter the land and plant fruit trees, leave the fruit unharvested for the first three years and consider it forbidden. Do not eat it. In the fourth year, the entire crop must be consecrated to the Lord as a celebration of praise. Finally, in the fifth year, you may eat the fruit. If you follow this pattern, your harvest will increase. I am the Lord your God. Do not eat meat that has not been drained of its blood. Do not practice fortune-telling or witchcraft. Do not trim off the hair on your temples or trim your beards. Do not cut your bodies for the dead, and do not mark your skin with tattoos. I am the Lord. Do not defile your daughter by making her a prostitute, or the land will be filled with prostitution and wickedness. 
Keep my Sabbath days of rest and show reverence toward my sanctuary. I am the Lord. Do not defile yourselves by turning to mediums or to those who consult the spirits of the dead. I am the Lord your God. Stand up in the presence of the elderly and show respect for the aged. Fear your God. I am the Lord. Do not take advantage of foreigners who live among you in your land. Treat them like native-born Israelites and love them as you love yourself. Remember that you were once foreigners living in the land of Egypt. I am the Lord your God. Do not use dishonest standards when measuring length, weight, or volume. Your scales and weights must be accurate. Your containers for measuring dry materials or liquids must be accurate. I am the Lord your God who brought you out of the land of Egypt. You must be careful to keep all of my decrees and regulations by putting them into practice. I am the Lord. And that was Leviticus chapter 19 in the New Living Translation from the Version Bible app. Now for my hear journal, first the highlight, Leviticus chapter 19 verses 1 and 2 and verses 17 to 19. Verse 1, The Lord also said to Moses, Give the following instructions to the entire community of Israel. You must be holy because I, the Lord your God, am holy. Verse 17, Do not nurse hatred in your heart for any of your relatives. Confront people directly so you will not be held guilty for their sin. Do not seek revenge or bear a grudge against a fellow Israelite, but love your neighbor as yourself. I am the Lord. You must obey all my decrees. So, what's my explanation? God instructed Moses to instruct the people of Israel to be holy because the Lord God is holy. He said not to nurse hatred, to confront people directly, so as not to be held guilty of their sin. Never seek to a revenge by resolution and restitution. So, what's the application for us today? Today we seem to think it's impossible to be holy, but that's a lie. Jesus died to set us free of the bondage of sin. We are indwelt by the Holy Spirit who will lead us unto all truth. God would not tell us to be holy if we couldn't do it. Reference Matthew 18, 15 to 17. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him it's his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you have gained your brother. But if he does not listen, take one or two others along with you, that every charge may be established by the evidence of two or three witnesses. If he refuses to listen to them, tell it to the church. And if he refuses to listen even to the church, let him be to you as a Gentile and a tax collector. James 1.19 Know this, my beloved brothers, let every person be quick to hear, slow to speak, slow to anger. Proverbs 15.1 A soft answer turns away wrath, but a harsh word stirs up anger. Romans 12.17-21 Repay no one for evil for evil, but give thought to do what is honorable in the sight of all. If possible, so far as it depends on you, live peaceably with all. Beloved, never avenge yourselves, but leave it to the wrath of God, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, says the Lord. To the contrary, if your enemy is hungry, feed him. If he's thirsty, give him something to drink, for by doing you will heap burning coals on his head. Do not be overcome by evil, but overcome evil with good. Colossians 3.13 Bearing with one another, and if one has a complaint against another, 
forgiving each other as the Lord has forgiven you, so you also must forgive. Matthew 18, 15. If your brother sins against you, go and tell him it's his fault between you and him alone. If he listens to you, you've gained your brother. Galatians 6, 1. Brothers, if anyone is caught in any transgression, you who are spiritual should restore him in a spirit of gentleness. Keep watch on yourself, lest you too will be tempted. Hebrews 12, 14 and 15. Strive for peace with everyone, and for the holiness without which no one will see the Lord. See to it that no one fails to obtain the grace of God, that no root of bitterness springs up and causes trouble, and by it may become defiled. 1 Peter chapter 1, 15 and 16. But he who called you is holy. You are also be holy in all your conduct, since it is written, You shall be holy, for I am holy. So what's my response? Thank you, Lord, for your wisdom. Help me, Lord, to remain holy in you. I choose to strive to follow you faithfully and obediently. I pray for any that do not know you, that they will seek and find you as Savior and Lord. Amen. Amen. And now, how about you? Why don't you try here, journey? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences with us. Do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior? If not, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. He's waiting on you. He loves you. Seek Him now. God bless.